Hey, what's up guys? So Blade and Soul Head Start is just less than 12 hours away and they did the last live stream here on Twitch for Blade and Soul and they went over the new 45 level 45 dungeon here the uh, black ram supply chain and there's actually kind of three variations of this dungeon a four man a six man and a 24 man and you may be thinking that the 24 man is you know the hardest one getting a big raid together and the boss is being insanely difficult no it's actually completely different uh than what you're most you know most people are expecting when they hear uh four six and 20 man difficulties so the six player dungeon is a normal version of the dungeon uh, in there you're going to get soul shields from the bosses in the four man dungeon which is the hardest version of the dungeon you're going to get weapon drops and in the 24 man dungeon you're going to get uh you know it doesn't list it here uh, but i believe you can get soul shields correct me if i'm wrong on that i have not personally played this dungeon so if you are from a different region you played it let me know but they do say that there's tons of daily quests in here uh, and you can pick up a lot of loot gold and experience for the 24 man dungeon uh, the 24 man dungeon is not actually cross server uh to note i believe the other versions the four and six man are cross server so you have those right there and also on the hard difficulty the four man dungeon you're not going to have any attack animations on the ground so it's not going to be kind of like easy mode where the monster is, is loading up for the punch and showing you the attack animation where you need to move on the ground you're going to have to learn those things and use some muscle memory and use some teamwork to avoid some big damage skills and of course they're going to be stronger have a little bit more hp a little bit different abilities possibly and also hit a little bit harder there the other big thing was they talked about the premium membership pricing. Premium membership pricing is around $12, but sadly you cannot actually directly purchase premium membership. You have to buy the, the end coin before you can buy premium membership. So they told us in the live stream two different prices and they said there's a third option as well. So the first one is one month, 30 days of premium membership is going to come out to 959 end coin. Like, really? This is the store. This is where you buy the end coin. So 959 end coin, uh, you know, it puts it somewhere in between there. They say it comes out to $12. I'm, you know, I haven't done the math to crunch it down. Probably very, very similar to it. But uh, unfortunately, the only way you're going to be able to get that is you're going to have to purchase, you know, 800 and then 400 end coins. So you're going to be looking at purchasing $15 of end coin at first to buy your premium membership for one month. There's also a a 90 day option which gives you of course 90 days of premium membership but it's also going to give you some hung moon coins as well that right there they did not give out a pricing uh, it's believed to be right around the 27 or 2800 in coin for the three month subscription then the last subscription that it did give out pricing for was the one year 365 day subscription which is going to give you a course hung moon coins a lot more hung moon coins than the 90 day subscription and then also an exclusive costume that can be only attained by buying a one year membership so that's a big deal for a lot of players right there uh looks are very very important and the costumes depending on what this costume looks like they have not shown it off but that could be a big selling point of the one year premium membership and that price for the one year premium membership is going to be 9999 end coin uh, so once again you can see you cannot directly buy the end coin that is needed for the said premium memberships you're going to have to have some extra end coin and there is no way to earn end coin in game from uh, any you know in game methods so you are actually going to directly have to buy them from the store and pay a little bit extra to have a little bit extra so if you were to buy the one the one year subscription you'd be looking at buying the $100 pack and then you'd be looking at buying the $20 and then the four the $5 one here so you'd have one extra in coin so you'd be looking at $125 for a one year membership which comes down to a little bit over $10 per month right there, which is not too bad at all. Uh, but sadly, I do not think that the premium membership is actually worth that right now. I do have a feeling that they will be buffing uh, the premium membership very, very soon as they notice they are not getting enough premium membership sales. They did this in Aeon when they buffed uh, the prestige or the, the premium membership, the optional sub for Aeon a ways back when they introduced it. They did not get enough sales of it, so they're like, oh, we're going to make it better and give it more EXP boost, more gold boost, more this and that. So they just buffed up the premium memberships, and I think they're going to see that here as well. 
so the only real reason to buy the one year subscription at this point is if you really really love the costume uh, otherwise I don't think you need much more than a three month subscription max uh, the, what I see happening is the premium membership is mainly to get you extra EXP and extra gold drops in the beginning of the game there's no gold in the economy we need gold drops to come into the game so then we can start stimulating that economy and shifting items here and there and once you've got gold in the economy now you're going to be able to buy and sell items and you're also going to be able to get gold through the auction house and through the bidding process of in the dungeons so when people have money it's a good thing for everyone the money will get distributed through other players so if you're if you're partying up and you're a free to play player and you party up with a premium player who has the membership they're going to be having a lot more money than you they're going to be able to bid on any item that they want when they win those items the money is going to get divided down to the other players in the party and you're going to slowly building up wealth that way that is the basics of how the game works. So you need the premium members to actually earn the uh, the gold from killing the monsters. You do get a little bit of gold, silver, copper from doing quests and such like that. But the majority of the money is going to come from just basically killing mobs and earning that money in the very beginning. And only premium members really earn gold, silver, copper from killing mobs as they are playing through the game. The uh, free-to-play players really don't get anything drop-wise, uh, money-wise from mobs so all the free-to-play players money is going to come from quests and then it's going to come from quest or quest and then dungeons and party dungeons when the people are bidding on items and that money again gets distributed to other players so those are the big things out of the live stream uh, there was a couple other things the Mushin server is at pretty much full capacity it's a North American server and uh, it's got three times more players already signed up for that server they are expecting queues during head start and definitely expecting more queues during uh, launch they did not say there's any plans to actually kind of like lock that server yet but I would expect that to be in the works that they do want some of the other servers to balance out and have uh, you know more an even distribution of players there's also been data mined about the class rankings and it looks like that the blade master is the highest you know created character right on 20% uh, followed up by the assassin at around 16% and that's it that's about it for all the news in the live stream I will see you in blade and soul and thanks for watching guys hit that like button and hit the share